Hey, this is Joy with Stuff to Discuss, and I'm here with one-on-one Stuff to Discuss with Denise, my sister-in-law, of course, and we're here with the beautiful, talented, I mean, I think she's done everything besides skydive, uh, jump off mountains, uh, did everything, but um, Diane Franklin, and she's an iconic, at, an 80s actress. I mean, Diane has done, she's an author, she's an acting coach, she's a mom. I mean, being a mom, personally, we know how that feels alone is work and movies she done like better off dead uh the amityville murders amity amityville 2 the possession the last american virgin which i like uh well i like all the other stuff too and <laughs> Tara yeah, Vin- yeah. bill and ted i mean it goes on the list goes on oh my god so you know have the, diane franklin introducing her yes yes yay <laughs> thank you so much thank you for having me on your show i love this idea of the show and uh i just am glad that i can oh no be, we can we can talk about stuff yes exactly. oh right and i mean basically i mean now all this stuff you've done i mean this is not part of the question but nominations or anything like that i mean have you gotten any awards you know i'm very glad you asked that because oh. i was not someone who uh came into the business for awards in fact it's very interesting i know some kids like some people like when they're little kids are like i'd like to thank the academy with the like the awards you know? <laughs> right yeah <laughs> i talked to a, a woman actually about that they she said when i was little i used to hold the you know like a spatula in my hand and thank the academy and um i never was into awards i was always into the love of acting and i always loved roles so the things that i did was always based on characters the films i did like people might say well you know maybe that film wasn't as good or not but it was because i was driven by characters so the closest that i've ever gotten to get an award was when i did this movie that we called summer girl where i was nominated for an Emmy, like nominated to be nominated, I guess that's the closest, right. um, which was very exciting and thrilling. Um, but, and I do know that, you know, uh, but I don't know, like I, I have to say that what was exciting to me is that all the acting that I've done, it's never been, uh, I've never had a, pub- a publicist. And in fact, the only time I've ever really worked with a publicist was when we did Amityville Murders, which is recently. So if you know who I am, it's based on you remembering me. And that, so if you don't know me, uh, you know, if you have seen my work and you remember me, that's the greatest compliment I can get. So it's it's funny, it's funny you, it's funny you mention that because again, off the subject here, sorry, Denise, um, is that, (laughs) um, I I was watching (laughs) EG Daily, I was watching EG Daily, we uh, ran into EG Daily, uh, one of the cons, and and she was saying something, the same thing, she's like, you don't know who I am, you know, and she showed her a little script and what, what she did, so she, she's like, amazing too but um yeah so but we're gonna start with the first question get it started girlfriend with denise go for it girl (laughs) i forget that i was going first (laughs) 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 okay so how does one go about getting into the acting business all right so the first thing it has to start with is the personal desire of whoever wants to do it as opposed to other people making you do it because that's the first thing is you have to want it and why do you have to want it is because it is a long road and Uh success comes not when you want it but when the world is ready so meaning i worked you know nine years before i got a lead in an act in a film and it wasn't because I was any better of an actress, although I have to personally say that during nine years, you do learn a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got to learn a lot. Um, and, but it did mean that I was ready to take, take it on when it happened and the world was ready. And that film was The Last American Virgin. Um, I had dark curly hair and I would straighten it all the time. And by sheer accident, that film happened. And I can get into that later. But the truth is, uh, you have to first start with yourself. You have to have the perseverance. From that perseverance, comes everything else comes the research i mean when i was trying to be an actress um and i was literally i wanted to start acting at four years old Mm -hmm. four i would watch tv and go i want to be on tv my parents were uh, german immigrants they did not know anything about the entertainment business but they kind of got the they asked 
They asked questions and they asked people, anybody that they could. And they found an agent who I don't know who it was. I'm probably not very well known or established or, you know, maybe even, you know, reputable. Right. And when they went to the agent and I was four years old, the agent said, um, no, no, she's not ready. You know, uh, she, her hair is too short and curly. Come back when it's longer and they can, I guess, straighten it or something. So they knew immediately, um, you know, that I was, you know, that was, it wasn't going to happen. At least the door shut and that was it. Now I, of course, was four. I didn't know the difference. I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm a little kid, yeah. but I had the drive. So because of that, I worked, um, you know, I showed my parents that I wanted to do it until I was 10. I mean, that's the kind of kid who's the one who says, can I do it? No. Can I do it? No. Can I do it? No. Can I do it? Yes. Okay, fine. <laughs> do you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. in the world of kids, it's the perseverance that shows. And okay. in the world of adults, that works as well. Meaning if you want to do it and someone says no, and you listen to them, you obviously don't have the wherewithal mm -hmm. to handle it, to be in it, because it is, you know, it's funny. Everyone always said to me, you know, don't, what about the rejection? Yeah. I've never ever seen it as rejection. I right. always saw it as, well, they're just not ready for me. Gotcha. I'm just not that's what they're looking it. for right now. And if you have that kind of attitude, that's mm -hmm. the first step of being in the entertainment business. Now we can move on, but I just want to let you know that that strength and that um, stubbornness <laughs> that, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of, a lot of you out there are relating to this, the stubbornness, the, you know, there's like the turtle in the hair. You got to be like the turtle in respect. You got to go, I'm yes. just going to do this. And I'm just going to, and uh, so you have to have that sort of weight to your desire. Gotcha. And, and I'm going to say that in, in respect to any career you choose. No, that's that's right. You have to, you have you to, have to, want to apply love that to that. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Just, yeah. You have to apply yeah. it. Okay, yeah. what now you mentioned about how you know you said, hey, perseverance and everything. What were there some difficulties of acting as an actress when you, especially in the 80s, was that in much a difficult time? Well, all right, so I have to start a little bit back because um, as we get to the as a growing up, you know, um, so the first thing that happened was, uh, you know, obviously things didn't fall in my lap. And it's so funny, you know, like a lot of people, you know, they'll say that I'm really pretty or they'll, you know, they'll, oh, you're so beautiful, whatever. Like that is not a given. I never felt that way growing up. And it's interesting, you know, you become attractive when you are inside attractive. Like you have to allow yourself to be like, it, it, it's kind of like if you're an angry person, you're putting an energy that keeps people away. But if you're a caring and loving person, then you attract energy and suddenly you're beautiful, right? Does that make sense? Right. Yes. Anyway, yes. right, so it's important to, for, especially for girls today, they're always looking at the social media and going, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not skinny enough. I'm like, no, no, no. And that's, that's the internet, that's not the real, the truth. No, the truth right. is that when you get hired as an actor, you get hired for who you are okay. and your energy. Right. You don't get higher uh, because your eyebrow is a little, you know, tweaked or you're, you know. Um, and so the reason I'm bringing this up is because we're <laughs> yeah. talking about as we get older. Um, so when I started and there, the difficulties were, first of all, I did not, I could not get a, 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 a role. Uh, mm -hmm. I was doing commercials and I was doing voiceover, but I couldn't get the part of the best friend because I was taking attention away from the lead if it was a physical thing. Um, and then if I, and if I was, um, and I didn't have a big enough name to get a, a role that maybe I could play. So for years, I, you know, I'd straighten my hair and I just took anything I could. I mean, I took, I did, you know, anything, you know, I did hand modeling. I did <laughs> work. I did fashion shows. And, I mean, I did whatever yeah. I was, you know, uh, um, yeah, like I just took whatever I could because it was a learning process. Right. And I, uh, I learned what was great is self-discipline and I can get back into that. So um, in answer to your question, <laughs> uh, the roundabout, um, <laughs> I learned that, uh, you know, it, people look at me and maybe think it, everything came easy, but I had to find that door that gotcha. worked for me. Worked and for one of the things that worked for me is, ah, uh, when I was younger, um, I wasn't tall. Okay. I'm five foot two. And oh, okay. so 
as I started modeling. So I, you know, of course started, you know, modeling and all of a sudden, whoops, well, I guess I can't do that anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> we know how that is. <laughs> being short, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you kind of have to see who you are and then go, okay, let's re retake this. So like, oh, I can do commercials. So I started doing commercials mm -hmm. and, um, then I had to straighten my hair because that was something that was not happening in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So that's why finally in the 80s, by sheer accident, one day I, I had a chemistry exam at, at school, college. I went to NYU. Oh, okay. And by the way, I did not major in acting. I majored in biochemistry because, <laughs> because it was my well-earned money from acting. And if I'm going to use my money for education, it's going to be for something I cannot learn outside of the education system. Smart. That was my thinking. Very smart. So, um, and by the way, my parents didn't care if I went to college. They were oh. like, like well, happy, you know, they didn't care. They never, my parents didn't go to college. My dad went to a trade school. So I was the first person to graduate from college in my family. Wow. So it was all my idea, again, self-driven. And that's important. I, I think that's another thing. Like you just, you gotta be self-driven. So that's probably part of the whole thing. Um, right. Right. And yeah, so. I, well, no, I that's why I saw question. some of your pictures. <laughs> no, I saw some of your um, your picture when I was looking, you know, strolling, not, you know, I was sitting, I'm like, well, one minute she has, you know, straight hair. And then one minute I saw you with the, you know, your little curly hair. So I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. And now that explains what you were talking about as far as the, you know, you was trying to find your way or whatever. Yeah. And, and I was not confident. I was, I, curly hair was seen by society as bushy, frizzy. Uh, it wasn't considered pretty. It was the, uh, the girl who didn't get the guy. It mm -hmm. was the best friend. Mm -hmm. Um, it had a lot of connotations in America that were the, of that in the seventies. And, you know, again, that's where the world, that was where the world was then. I don't have any, it's just like, I just tried, but it made me feel because I wasn't hired that I wasn't talented or that I didn't have anything to offer. Right. And I almost gave up many times because I thought, well, this is impossible. I'm not, you know, I'm fighting the world. Exactly. And I think that that, you know, and, and if you feel like that, I have to be honest with you, don't take it personally because it's not you. Right. It's not you. Right. And it's that's hard. World. That's hard when you go to auditions too, because you do take it personal. <laughs> yeah. Take it. Well, <laughs> You can't because you know what? If they don't get you, then they're then it's their loss. Exactly. They didn't get, right. It's their loss. They don't get it, and someone else will. That's the good thing I have to say about the entertainment business today is that mm -hmm. for every person that doesn't like you, there will be somebody who likes you. So don't worry. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for that. Well, to our next question, Denise. Okay. So, is it true that you have to change yourself in order to be accepted into the entertainment business? Now, and so, that actually, yeah, exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Well, so you yes. yes, you have mm -hmm. to do it. You, you'll have to do it if you want to enter right now, oh, right? Got gotcha. you. So that's the difference. But if yeah. you can wait and be true to yourself, it will happen. It'll just take a while. Mm. And I'm going to even give you this example with my daughter. You know, my daughter, she's like, you know, people would think, oh, you're, you know, you're famous actress and your daughter's going to get work just because she's your daughter. Mm -hmm. And it would be such a disservice as a mother mm -hmm. to set my child up for that. Right. Exactly. It would right. be such a disservice for her emotionally, that she didn't earn this on her own. Mm -hmm. So okay. to me, what I did with my kids was, you know, I knew that I wanted to be an actress. Mm -hmm. So there were two things that happened. When you are a parent, you're, there's a couple of things. One is your children always kind of gravitate to what you do because in a sense, because they're like, well, that's what they know. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, so they'll be like, what's it like being, you know, a teacher or a doctor? Like they, they cut because it's comfortable and they see you go through it. So they understand the process. Um, but then sometimes you have a child who just wants to do their own thing. So I knew like as an actress, that's a very uh, seductive occupation. Every kid at, in middle school wants to be an actor, with, yeah. no matter what, or a singer <laughs> or a rock star or right. a sports, yeah. you know, they yeah. just, it's seductive and yeah. they don't realize the work and sacrifice it takes. Mm -hmm. So what I did with my kids, because I was an actress, was when they were little, I, my daughter actually, she was like, you know, she had the photographic memory. So I wouldn't have done this with her if she did not have the aptitude. So I was mm -hmm. like, well, do you want to try acting? And she was like, yeah, sure. And 
when you have a very creative child, it's very, very important to get them into the arts because totally yeah. the <laughs> arts have That's no, right. very That's smart right. kids needs the arts. A yes. smart kid, there's no boundaries. Right. With intelligence, you know, if you have a smart kid and they trump another kid with intelligence, that's mm -hmm. not fun. Mm -hmm. But if you have a really oh. smart kid and they can make somebody laugh or they can right. entertain, all that's of a right. sudden they have hundred friends, like it changes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend, you know, get your kids into something creative because there's no boundaries on uh, how they can express themselves. Anyway. Oh. So. <laughs> no, that's good you said that because I, you know, being, yeah, there's, you know, you have certain kids with different personalities and they're, yeah, one's being creative, that one's more going to stand out than the one that's just like more, you know, self that's, that's more to sit in and it's like, okay, I'll wait till I get that push. But yeah, I, that is very important to, uh, you know, every, to, yeah, yeah. Every child has its aptitude, you know, and, and mm -hmm. the, mo the job of the parent is to find out where, where's my child's interest. There's three directions a kid can go in, okay. what they love to do, okay. what their parents want them to do <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what they're gifted at. Gotcha. Every child is gifted at something. Mm -hmm. Math, language, balance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe a certain sport. Maybe they're gifted at dance. Maybe they're gifted at singing. Maybe they have an incredible speaking voice. Maybe they have good eye contact. Maybe mm -hmm. they're very social. They're great socially. Everybody has a gift. So some kids or some people or adults, right. we... Right do one thing. Okay, I'm going to do what my parents want me to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I've heard that. And then what happens is after they graduate from college or whatever, they go, now it's my turn. <laughs> or maybe their yeah. parent passes away and they're like, no, now it, uh, it's my life, right? right. Exactly. Uh, I'm yeah. going to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, when you figure out what you're gifted at, that might be something that you can make money at, which is interesting. Like if I was gifted at math, maybe I would have been a mathematician. <laughs> but it's something that you do what you're not gifted at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For what I can't do. Right. 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 No, so, you don't want to. <laughs> I have no choice. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. So, uh, you no, know. that's good. I like that, Diane. That is so cool because people don't understand that. That and and that I had to learn that with my son, where when he was going to school, I, he, you know, people learn for vision or, or hands on. Yes. And and one of the neighbors had told me, you know what? He's the type that learned. Like he would watch a movie and, and compare it to that to make you know to see how he would uh, with his math or with anything. You had to you know come a different way angle with him to to make him understand because it is the other kids right, are right. totally different yes they do and i, no, and I like that yes yeah and, you, know, we learn, you know we don't need to be great at everyone that's why we need everyone that's, yes, that's why right. we need each other because we okay. all have a different aptitude so what i was saying is if you're if you are say uh very good and you let's say you're good at math um you want to maybe you make a living in your math but that doesn't mean you stop doing what you love that's right. So a lot of times I find adults, the biggest problem is they give up on their dream. Mm. They say, well, you know, I got a family, I got kids. I'm not going to do it. No, don't. Yeah, stop there. Not, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. care if you spend 10 minutes every day writing in a journal or, or creating a board game or do, like, mm. you know, or only do it once a week or something. You cannot abandon your own dreams yourself. Right. Yeah. Right. You do abandon the idea that it's, you got to impress someone else abandon mm -hmm. that. That's not, right. that's a waste of time. Right. But to, you don't know where your dreams come, where they can come. Like I said, you, you don't know when the world is ready and you might be, let's say you're working on that book for years and years. And then one day that subject matter becomes so relevant and mm -hmm. you might go to, you know, as a agent say, look, I've got this book and they're like, Oh my gosh, we're ready to go. So <laughs> yeah, you know, that's true. You, yeah, you fall into that. Yeah. Do we allow other people to, Stop us for creative as adults. Why is it always like, let's just go to lunch and eat at like Olive Garden? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? right, exactly. <laughs> why do we oh. write a book or, a, or screenplay during our lunch? Why do we, it, it's, whatever. Oh, anyway. I know, it's, it's uh, but no, that's good you said that. Okay, so next question. Uh, About how long is the average amount of time before an actor, uh, and before an actor, actually gets a job because a lot of time people think, okay, I'm getting in the business. I'm going to get a job right away. Or they got, they went through a feature film. They went through all that. What is your advice on, or what are your outlook? Okay. So first, by the way, you can get an agent or a manager anytime in your life. Okay. It doesn't mean that you have to start when you're tiny. Um, but it does mean, so I just know that 
you can get agents and especially today it's awesome all kinds of people get jobs it's fabulous it's exciting mm -hmm. uh and i do want to say that you don't need a manager to start you sometimes you get managers to help you get agents that's okay. another thing um and also frankly you don't need to do any of that just go online research and you maybe you can get your own auditions look for them um la casting actors access you may have to pay for it but mm -hmm. That's what the agents do. They look right. at all the, 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 you know, the, um, the auditions and mm -hmm. they see what they, you know, are right for. So the difference between it, when it was, I was doing it in the eighties and right. what's happening today is today you can do it yourself. I mean, yeah, you can make it. You're right. You're but right. You, you're right. Hands on. Not everybody wants to do it. It's a huge job. It's exhausting. Um, you <laughs> yeah, know, just getting so, on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta upload right. the pictures and the whole thing. Um, yeah. Okay, and now the other question. What, I'm sorry. What was the? Question? Oh no, the question was this: What's that? What? How long is the average time to get a you know oh. the job? Yeah, yeah. Good to question. get a job. Uh -huh. Times we have what's called beginner's luck. Okay. You're and that happens because you're a new face, mm -hmm. and you're you're somebody who uh, suddenly you're on the scene. Um, and what's interesting is sometimes you can be prepared, and sometimes you're not prepared, and all of a sudden someone goes, "Oh, you got the job," and you're like. I didn't even what I don't know what to do. So okay. here's my big uh -huh. advice for that. Okay. You have to say the words, repeat after me. Yes, yes. And. and what? Yes and, yes, and. okay. <laughs> Meaning, yes and what yeah. do I do? Yes and where do I go? Uh, okay. the actor is the person who can do things on the fly. They can do things spontaneously. So if you do get something, go for it. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Because the minute they see some hesitation, they go, Well, that person's not ready. And mm -hmm. how can you get yourself ready? This is what I'm talking about, the work. Mm -hmm. You can study acting, you can take classes, you can study voice, you can do, do the work so that when you get that opportunity, you mm -hmm. feel confident and not so uh, deer in the headlights yeah. um, to go, yes, yeah. am. Yes. yes. No, you're right. So and then that's... It can happen in a minute. And then after that minute, okay. it can happen in 10 years. Okay. Meaning, there is no guarantee. Once you get in it, it's what you do with it. So let's say you do an acting part and you get a little copy of that and you start promoting it or you start making contacts with it or your agent or your manager does. It okay. is good as you get the word out. And there's so many people in the world who want to do this. Uh, you, that's where the work comes from. You know, you need to get your name out there, get things out there and do it in a way that is respectful and polite. Gotcha. Uh, People don't mind being, people will respond as best they can. And remember, everybody has their own lives. So you might, I, I've had people where like, um, I've had people who wanted interviews say, and I didn't get back to them in a day and they're freaking out. So they send me like 10 emails and I'm like, this person <laughs> used to, like they don't understand how to deal with people in the entertainment business, because we're busy, we're always looking for, you know, there's always something yeah. happening or we're looking for work, right? So right. Yeah. it's just like anybody, just take a deep I breath. They looked at it that you was quarantined, that people were quarantined, they weren't right. doing anything. But if they watch the yes, talk shows, have, the talk shows like Conan and all them, they were also doing the same thing where they were interviewing. They was up here being busy as to what, uh, you know, trying yes, to get right. it out there. So they, yeah, information. yeah, I got you, yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's just good to know, like we all the, the, the proper and I, I ha teach students acting. So one of the things I'm really trying to teach them is the uh, uh, professional protocol. Right. And mm -hmm. a very nice letter, um, you know, it, and uh, authentic. If you really love somebody, share that with them, you know, right. on Facebook, whatever, go, you know, really share that. But not if it's inauthentic. Yeah. That's oh yeah, nothing. and they, and, they'll, and they can smell a mile away if you're not authentic, especially exactly. today how kids are. How kids are today, they can smell if you're fake and you're not. Authentic. Yeah, that's <laughs> genuine. No, yes. and, and genuine. to what end? Yeah. You know, you're you're going to be the one who's actually going to wind up being seen as bad. You know, yeah. in the end, if you're oh, not yes. sincere, um, mm -hmm. and also, you know, it, it's so the connections that we have have to be organic and right. from yes. the heart. Got you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. That should be on a t-shirt. I always tell people that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Denise, what's your other question for Diane? Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> I forgot where I was. That's okay. She's, she, she's so I, mesmerized I, 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 as we like, like, what? Yeah. I yes. get my coffee and I'm just like, hey, you know, <laughs> she's ready. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got you. All okay. right. Um, what kind of thing should an aspiring actor uh, prepare themselves for in this field of work? 
Um, all right. Hmm. There's many things that come to mind. Um, an actor needs to be physically and emotionally and verbally ready to be able to do anything in a second. All right. Okay. So let's say I'm a director and I say to you, okay, uh, I need you, you, I need you to break down in tears in this, when we say this word or the scene, you know, can you do that? Mm -hmm. Uh, if I say, <laughs> that, I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I need onions for my crying scenes, Diane. I, I, I need some onions, something that, or someone has to die actually physically. And I'd be like already emotional. Yes, That's because right? <laughs> one <laughs> conjures up everyone's like, do you panic or do you, you know, oh, right. Oh, yet, right? I don't. <laughs> Can you do a, oh, I need you to do a, uh, a Scottish uh, dialect. Can you do that? Uh, right. Like, yes. Um, yes. You know, I need you to sing a song. Can you do, can you just sing something, um, you know, a ballad of some sort? Right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, oh, yeah. can you see the rocks? If I ask you like these questions, if the fear and panic comes into your heart right now, <laughs> that means you've got work to do. Yes, that work yes, to do. yes. <laughs> now, uh, so that's a preparation for you to have everything in your pocket. And also, can you be in the moment when right. someone's talking to you and you are really excited? Right. Can mm -hmm. you take a deep breath and just listen and be in the moment? So that you do take that direction in a minute. If yeah. somebody says something to you, can you hear them say, I'd like you to be a little more relaxed, more natural. Um, I'd like you to, uh, when that person says that to you, feel it, get connected. So you know what I mean? It's like bringing, yeah. it's the self-discipline of yourself, yes. right? Right. When yeah. I went to sing the national anthem at Dodger Stadium, I am oh. not a singer. Okay, but in 2004, I was asked to sing the national anthem. Okay. Because I'm not a singer, I came, to the, I came to it from the perspective of obviously tremendous respect, but also for, for those who have sung, sung it before. That's right. right. Um, but also the idea of how do I manage my anxiety? Mm. Gotcha. Right. When you sing, it affects your throat. My throat. Okay. And then you're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> My prep was I practiced relaxing instantaneously. I'd be driving in the car and all of a sudden, can I relax? <sighs> Release my stomach, relax my mm -hmm. jaw well, in an in, instant. And then I would start to sing because that I knew my tension would get in the way of my performance. Yeah. And mm -hmm. boy, did that come in handy. So acting yeah. actually helped my singing. And I, of course, acting, singing, movement, dancing, all is in one. So um, that was very helpful. So in preparation for auditions, you got to have your self-discipline and also your head in the game of positive energy. Don't go in thinking, I'm not going to get it. And someone else is right away, meaning like that's the first place you go. Let me tell you something. I go, I get auditions still to this day and I go, I'm not right for this. They should hire so or so or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what I do is when I'm doing that, I'm taking my attention off the, the hard work. Do, and really it's what it's, what it is. It's like, I don't know if I want to work this hard on this audition. <laughs> yeah. Well I have to bring it. So right. my reputation's on the line, my, uh, That's right. you know, it's like, right. I'm getting another chance to act. So what I do is I take that thinking about something, somebody else. And I say, okay, well, that's not my job. My job is not to hire me. My job is to right. give them something that will make them smile or right. surprise them. Or my job is to show what I think I can do. Exactly. So I can roll back to me mm -hmm. and then I'll think about, um, I'll have a personal reason why I want to do it. Maybe like, uh, for instance, I've never played this character. So this is my chance to show this kind of character. Okay. Um, maybe this is a chance for me to be the most real. They're not going to believe how freaking real I am. I'm going to freak them out with the reality. That's you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I have a little, like, or maybe I'm going to go to the audition and I'll be like, you know what? I'm not what they'll, they're going to imagine. Mm -hmm. So I have nothing to lose. I'm just going to yeah. break out and do my thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is where... You just let it you go. Are, you just you show your your most vulnerable you part, and I think yeah. that's what people are not understanding yeah. about auditions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, where they just go in there and they're stiff or they're nervous and they let everything go into their head 
but they just yeah. like, just laid it out and then show them what they can do. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And, and this is uh, interesting because it comes from um, the the truth is, and this is the real truth. Okay. If you are are doing that, if you are authentic to who you are, and you are committed to mm -hmm. being to doing it, if you're mm -hmm. committed and you don't have any, uh, you're just doing it because you love acting okay mm -hmm. right. if you're committed to doing it what will happen is the agent or I mean whatever the casting person or director will look at you and they will they will say you know what they're not maybe right for this but I, I have a great you. part for them or, they're the first thing for them or maybe it's not this project maybe it's a month from now and they go you know what I remember that other actor they would be good for this that's so cool. that's why the audition is incredibly important as your opportunity it is your opportunity okay. um, and perform as if you've got the part Okay. You know, exactly. don't perform as if it's the third take or the fourth. I've got 10, we got 10 takes, good. I've got 10 takes. By the 10th one, I'll be great. Do the first one as the final one. As the final exactly. one. Yeah. Exactly. And I what a you. great feeling that is for you when you right. finish that audition. That's really where you're going to come away. You're going right. to go, you know what? I don't care if they got it. I nailed that. That was amazing. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Right. No, and that's good. And you want to pull away with that, that attitude yeah. and confidence. So you're like, hey, I left all, I put it all on the table. And then it's up to them, correct? Yeah, that's yep. right. All right, well, Absolutely. thank you for that one, Diane. Um, let's see, well, uh, Denise, <laughs> it's my turn, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, you did the same thing I did. I did the same thing. We get all so excited about what we asked our guests and then lose place where we're gonna go quiet. Okay, um, I think you already told us about the style of acting because you told us how you got you know, started and what you, you were saying that you look for, did you already say like you had your certain style or you find, you were saying how you was trying to find your way, right? So yes. I, the, the question that was asking what finding style of acting. So is that the same as you were trying to say you, when you first, when you first started, you was trying to find your way, your style. So yeah. Well, good question. Um, you know, today we talk a lot, people talk a lot about branding, you know, right. who okay. is that person? Now I am, I'm not like a lot of people, but I have to say that uh, I, or I at least think differently than a lot of people. I think I think in terms of archetypes. Oh, archetypes right. are are things that that are his are characters that go on through time. So you'll always have the hero, and they'll always be the um, the uh, like the protector or or the ingenue or they'll always be the the motherly character um mm. or paternal you know uh, mm. so so you if you research your archetypes then and you see who you are you will then um and i'm not even talking about not stereotype uh, right you're talking about exactly oh okay stereotype gotcha has nothing to do with the archetype it has okay. to do with how people identify you within the realm of everyone. So as an example, I am a very tough person, but you would never <laughs> ask me I didn't mean to laugh about that. No, I'm so sorry. Right? There you go. Thank yeah. you. That's yeah. exactly right. Okay. Right. You would never like, what? You know, you would never <laughs> see me like that. Okay. So it, but so what the, that's exactly the point if you put me in a room with a lot of other people and I'm and auditioning, mm -hmm. I'm going to play the sweet mom or the goofy, you know, person or that, I don't know, like, I mean, today it's a little different, but when I was younger, I was the ingenue. Mm -hmm. And that had to do with my height too. I, I said to myself, if I was just looking at myself independently in a group of people, who would I, what part would I, I cast myself at? You know, I would not cast myself as the queen. I would not cast myself as um, uh, the sports figure. I don't know, like whenever, you know, so right. you have to be honest with how you are in how, what your, and I would still say brand, but where you fall into category in a story, because as an actor, you are part of a story, right? Oh, okay. um, and whatever it is, reality show, whatever, you have to look at yourself objectively. Okay. Then we are talking about how you portray that, which means it, it, that's where you can get like stereotypes or not. If you portray it the same way or the way that other people have always portrayed it, well, you can get boxed in. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I think that just has to do with you evolving as an actor and learning what you can play emotionally. Okay. For, for example, there are so many actresses that I have. Oh, there. Okay. You get a, a, um, an actress that's stunning right right and all of a sudden she goes like this so i'm really excited about being in this job because i think i look fabulous all right now she becomes 
funny because right. her voice doesn't match her look. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> and if you notice, the big actors like even, like Angeline Jolie, her mm -hmm. voice shifted. You know, her became lower, more, you know, serious, you know, she lowered her, her range as well with a leading men, lowering your voice, being stronger. So just because you might be an attractive person, you got to check in with your voice. Because if your voice is how you look, you can see why people will hire you for comedy, right? You know? oh, okay, right. yeah, no, and that makes sense. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that because that is hard, you know, even like a business, you have to, when you're branding yourself, you got to see where you fit in. If it's a lawyer or your attorney or if you're any of those right. things. Yeah, so I didn't know that about acting. That's good to know that you have to fit yourself in where you say, hey, if I'm going to be known as funny, I need to go and show them that I am this person. And it has to fit my face. It has to, because yeah. a lot of actors uh, like Meryl Streep to me, I say, think she just, uh, you like, God, I'm just uh, just looking at her, I wouldn't think there's certain things she would fit in. But then at this, uh, but as she plays roles, they just kill it, you know, and you're like, wow. Voice, her voice. Yeah. And if you look at this with, beautiful, with Meryl Streep, lovely, her early part of her career, Mm -hmm. Her voice is very delicate and low and soft. Mm -hmm. And when her voice is soft, we can hear her vulnerability. So right. voice is unbelievably important. And when I was starting off, I was very shy about my voice. Mm -hmm. I was the one who would, I, I was literally like, my parents, I learned to talk like this from my husband. <laughs> oh, because oh. <laughs> he's a voiceover guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. My wow. husband taught me the gift of gab. Thank you, Ray. Uh, but <laughs> when I was younger, I was very shy about my voice because I felt my voice was really my, it's like my soul. People say it's the eyes, but I feel like the voice is your soul and it's very descriptive. So uh, it took me a long time to get the confidence to speak. But now that I understand it, I teach it. And I teach it to very young kids because I, I know that feels. You get, yeah, you, yeah. And they, and they appreciate that you're bringing that to the plate because yeah, that's, that's kind of like, I like how you can bring key to something where you're, you're like, there's something missing, but then when someone show you, Hey, this is, is the, the icing on the cake, this is how you do it. And then it's kind of comes to light to you and you're like, Oh, I get it now. You know? So that is so exciting. Okay, Denise. I'll stop okay. taking the oh. whole thing. <laughs> See, I, keep on, I keep on getting so absorbed. In the <laughs> she's teaching it girl. She's like bringing it. Yes. <laughs> What do you okay. think? Okay, yes. All right. So is it hard, even if you get one job, to keep getting roles in other things? I love working. So I, I think job to job is great. I do feel for the, uh, you know, again, people think every actor's life is panacea. It's mm. very hard for actors, uh, even the actors who, you, they get a huge starring role in a very, you know, incredible film, an Oscar winning film. Where can they go right. after? Right. They can't exactly. do a goofy, silly, offbeat, you know, <laughs> right. B film. Mm -hmm. It is, so they're not getting, that's why they ask for so much money because they can't just do any film after that. It becomes uh, a choice uh, and they're role modeling. It's very interesting. For me, I'm really actually incredibly happy with my career because my, my center is, this is an actor's life. Mm -hmm. I, am a, I would like, I mean, for me, people will remember me from the films that they love. Mm -hmm. And also for me to open up and say, I am a great example of that kid who had the dream of being an actress mm -hmm. and it happened and I'm still acting today. And that is a miracle. That's a right. miracle. Right. Um, and it, and it mm -hmm. comes and I'm doing some very specific things to make that happen. But yeah. it, it is all, um, how I do that is not through uh, connections or, um, it's through the love of the acting exactly. and putting myself out there and showing myself as I've gotten older that I can still do it or what I can do something new. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it is, um, actors have all, everybody's got a problem. People who haven't acted, they want to get into the youth. They want to get into mm -hmm. act, you know, uh, the pl a place. And then, by the way, the union to me, it, what I've always felt was it kept things safe. So when I went into audition, I mean, and I'm telling you, since I was 10 years old, mm -hmm. I have always felt safe. Oh, yeah. And that okay. was because the auditions were for SAG and AFTRA. Um, and that was the, that's something important to know. If you're not in, uh, in those unions or if you don't go for those auditions, 
you know, you have to have your radar on because you don't know what people, uh, what their intentions are. Are they legitimate? You know, so actors so badly want to work. They so badly want to get and they prey on uh, that. I hate when people I do that. I also recommend yeah. contacting. Oh, I know. Yeah. 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 I, I highly recommend for films, go to the uh, universities and get okay. your pictures at, uh, you know, colleges and universities because okay. those are new filmmakers. You will be yes. there up and coming. I mean, you might get a huge role um, that shows your talent and right. you're in a safe environment because they want, mm. you're their their baby, you're, this is their baby film or their first mm. film and they need somebody to represent it. And if you're it, you're you found a nice way of getting in for film or television so that's, that's i highly recommend contacting universities they take resumes and pictures they, they and and they students look at them you know oh, that, that is true i uh, justin my son did uh which is her his her nephew uh did uh, the the last uh when he did uh, be, because of sound, it came from Dodge College, uh, which is Chapman. Chapman, and yeah. Yeah, and so, yeah, the students there, it was they was outstanding. I mean, when it came to, you know, coming up with the storyline and, and, and the way they came directing and the location, it was just outstanding. So I was impressed. It's, they're great. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's great. Yes. yes. And, um, and by the way, uh, I was going to say, you know, your, your son, and I want to talk about people who are, let's say the acting has, like, broadened. So, you know, we can do acting, obviously, in film and television. We can do it on the internet, web webisodes. We can do it in commercials. We can do voiceover. There, um, and we can do it in animation. And we can do it with puppets. Right. Okay? That's so, true. and I was talking about your son. The, the whole interesting thing about, about acting, and we can do it as a lawyer. Okay? Oh, your voice right. is so important, right? You know, right, right. it's incredibly important. Or public speaker, whatever, um, you know, a life coach, whatever, you know, your voice is so important and acting skills are important. We use them across the board in so many things. Right. Um, but I want to point out that, um, you know, some of, some people are venturing into areas that have not been explored yet. Uh, for example, um, let's say you have a, a well, like we're doing a talk, sh like a talk show via Zoom. We're doing the first time and we're exploring a situation that we've never done before. Right. And sometimes it takes a while for those things to become popular. Mm -hmm. And we are you as, a, as um, you a know, host. hosts and film <laughs> and, and, and show creators right. are creating the norm of that gotcha. just by doing it. Right. So, you have to understand we are constantly building on each other. So if there's something that you're trying to do that hasn't been done before, you got to get off your back in the sense of like, why isn't it, why don't people understand, blah, blah, blah. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Think of it as the world is aliens. They don't understand the language yet. And, gotcha. once, and once they figure it out, they will mm -hmm. be your biggest fans. Oh, but you're it, right. It's the arc of that time. Okay. Right. Okay. And you, you know, it's funny you mention that because honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I was scared, honestly, because I, I, like I said, I've done red carpet events, and and Denise hasn't gotten a chance to do it with me because she's in Rhode Island. So, uh, but I, I definitely was like so scared, and I got used to that type of interview. But when I came to this platform, and I said I want to start interviewing uh, actors and other people, and, and then when I was thinking about it, but I was so scared. And again, my son, he scared me into doing it because he's like, you got to do it, mom. And then every time you, you push go, it, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> like, I hate yeah, him. Thank but yeah. <laughs> thank you for pushing your mom to do this. This thank is you. amazing. They, oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> and, and Joey, said, I told you. you before, I, I, because you've done the red carpet, to me, like, I know it's a, it's a no whole nother platform, but you put yourself out there. You're in person interviewing people. Right. So yeah. for me, I figured you were going to be fine. Oh, I had no God. doubts about you. Oh, thank you. Done this thank before. You. Oh no, sometimes I doubt. I play it off. I doubt myself. I do. I'm like, oh, I don't know how yeah, this is gonna go, but that, let's just do it. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but That's, I appreciate that. That is. Your attitude, Joanne, is exactly it. It's like, I don't know, but I'm, yes, and. No. Like, and that's oh, how I found you, Diane. It's so funny. When I was like okay. looking through uh, LA casting, and, and then I was like, okay, Diane. And I'm like, Diane Franco, Diane. And then I saw you, and then I remember, because I honestly, I used to watch 
Last American Virgin, like, religiously, and I don't know why. It was just, like, the coolest thing to watch. No, and and then, you didn't know. And no. I didn't know. And honestly, I didn't like your character, and because I'm pretty sure you got that with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good actress. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're very... And so then I was like, I'm never going to run into her. And I don't know why you never say never, because you do run into that when you say never. You bite your tongue. Anyway, so... And then when I saw you in Amityville, uh, to the possession, and I'm like, wow, she... You know, so I never thought in, the, in a million years that I would run into someone that I used to watch so many times. And, you know, in those days, the channel you, you had that you recorded from the video and, and whatever that you saw, I mean, you, you know, and then- so to the this, TV, first it's, it's not even gonna play, second it's like, no. like, yeah. I can't have dinner, I gotta watch this show. You know? <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got the so, oh my God, I've played it so many times, it's now like breaking. Like, yes, exactly. Um, thank you, Joanne, for that because- No, no and honestly, that is so awesome, but how yes. you, you know, and I, and I, but, I always and been I the love those films, by the way. I love them. So thank oh, you for saying. I good. Love no, them. you did a great yeah. job. Awesome job. Really. Very much awesome. So thank you again, Diane, for that. Um, yeah. I guess this my question is I'm on to that when it said. Um, so we talked. Did I say we talked about the style? And you asked, is it hard to get a job? So what is a good age? And don't take this the wrong way because you always looking younger, friend. But what is a good age to begin to pursue your acting career? I mean, because some people any, think they're too old or whatever, you know, or too young. Any age. That's okay. the part that, as long as you're committed. Okay. Any age. Any age. Gotcha. Because, you, again, you can't go in it thinking it's going to pay the bills because mm -hmm. then you're putting pressure on yourself oh, yeah. and you're not going to be able to be relaxed. Right. You need to get your bills paid another way. I, it's where, like, the, the you know, waiter or do phone calls. I don't know, whatever it is, make sure that you're financially uh, not coming from a needy place because exactly. needy changes it up. It changes your energy. It mm -hmm. creates a stress and people can feel it. Um, mm -hmm. And so the reason, I mean, I say this and again, you know, my parents didn't have a lot of money, but because I started very young and this is the advantage of starting young for this reason okay. for me, but it doesn't entail anything else because I started young, I saved my money and then I was able to live off my money. The age to pursue your acting career would be any age, as long as you're committed to auditioning and caring and also again don't put yourself in financial need mm -hmm. uh do something else so that you're not stressed out but any age is great i mean my dream when i was little was that i was going to act until i was really old mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons why i loved uh acting because you could do it your whole life right. i really loved that idea like right. i like you know uh, I'll, someday i'll be talking like this i have no idea what <laughs> right um, and by the way, which is very interesting, you know, people, like I try to bring memories back for people from the 80s, yeah. but there'll be a time where I, people probably won't recognize me. I don't know. Yeah. You know, you just don't know. You don't know your story. You don't know your script. You have right. a life and your life is your script, right. right? And so I don't know what, you know, it'll happen. But what I'm doing now is I'm trying to bring my best and, um, good. you know, just uh, be a, a good role model for the next generation, which is why I teach mm -hmm. right. because that's the next generation. Right. And right. my kids are the next generation, you know, they're bringing all the knowledge that I have and my values, you right. know, right. to right. next generation. So and it's good how you planted that seed because they definitely is on it. I like that oh Nick is God. doing his thing and now Olivia, she's just like shooting off to the <laughs> It's insane. Yeah. I'm like, seriously, like, I mean, Olivia and, and my son, Nick. Okay, so Nick is 21, he's still in college. Right. But he, you know, I said to him, uh, and he plays the double bass, he plays classical music. Yeah. And uh, so he is actually got a job being paid by the Chicago Civic Orchestra. No way. And he's still in college. Oh. And it's all with graduate students. He's not a graduate. Everybody oh, in wow. his graduate except for him. And maybe yeah. Nick. So he's doing that. Plus during this time, you know, he plays classical music but he's also in a indie band called Swatches. Wow, so he I saw that you know, one. <laughs> with a tux and he'll play with no shirt on, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, you go. Know, you know what's funny about that? Denise, when he uh, when I first met Diane and with Justin, and it was so funny because um, uh, Nick, she was telling me how she would put it, you know, he, he would go to an audition, but he was the one that really wasn't into it, right? He was telling me something about that. He was, she was having a hard time with him being, I, I don't know if it was so hard for Olivia, but it was like, it, he was not trying to 
to hear that. Oh, but, so uh, yeah. The funny part was I would go for auditions with Olivia when she was little. Okay. And she and he would be in the room because I would bring him with me. And I always would play games with them and hang out. And he had bright red hair. So the minute like casting people they saw him, they were like, like yes. He's bringing it. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, like this. <laughs> and he's like four, okay? He's four. He's dressed in like a Superman outfit. And he's like, all right, it's fine. <laughs> it's yeah. so funny. I remember, and we just had the thing, and I was like, you know what? I, you need to experience this because I don't you want you to ever look back and say, you didn't get me into that, or we didn't give an opportunity. You need to try, and if you don't like it, forget it. So yeah. he discovered, uh, but he... Um, uh, the amazing part about it was he learned from being around it how to speak to people, how to, you know, be social. And he's a very shy guy. So it was huge to him. And then he wound up doing comedy on the side. But he knew very early that he loved music. Wow. Very early. You know, I think he was like in a pseudo rock band at 10 years old. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, but now, even as his mom, I was like, Nick, you need to always be like, why do you let people judge you in a sense? Like you do what you want yeah. to do. And, and just, he, he's not, um, he's a very strong minded kid, but I passed that love of what you do to him. And yeah. he wrote an album called Good Boy, and it is the most poetic, beautiful album. Wow. I, and he does all the, he plays all the instruments except for the drums, um, but wait till you hear it. It's insane. So it's on it. Nick okay. DeLaurentis. And uh, so he's my, my, he's my Zen child. He's my <laughs> poet child. But see, you did a, you, my you did, Yeah, well, no, you did like a, a healthy type of push. When you mentioned about not pushing your child, you did a healthy push, like you need to do this because it will help you down the way versus, okay. oh, you need to do this because it help, you're, you're trying to fulfill because I what you was trying to, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's and good. listening to your kid as you go along. I mean, mm -hmm. the other thing too is everything I always, everything I do, mm -hmm. I bring fun to. Even, okay, so that's, that's a yes. really important part yes. of exp exploration. Right. If, you know, if you want your kid to be a great baseball player, well, make it fun. That's right. Don't, Force them. Don't force they them will become, they will want to if you as you introduce things, it, it they'll show the interest. Mm. But if you don't make it fun, why would you? I mean, seriously, they don't get paid, you know? I mean, like, right. no, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I, I was like, oh, how do you do that? Um, Denise, that, you yeah, want and the nerve of the parent is the part, watch out. If you're a parent who has a child, if the child, if you you have anxiety, your kids will feel that. Oh, and that is yes. that is the death of, of doing something. Now, yes. if you want your child to be a, uh, a, a lawyer, this is what you say to them. You will never be a lawyer. Don't even think about it. I will be so mad if you were a lawyer. That mm. is just, no. So don't you be a lawyer. Don't. <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. Thank okay, you. So I that's appreciate it. Right? That's just cover that all the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, you're so funny. Okay, so I, I feel like I'm going to ask, but this has yes. already been, been answered, but I'm going to ask anyway. Um, oh. What is some advice that you would give to someone aspiring to become an actor? But I feel like we touched upon that. Yep. Yeah, we did. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Believe in yourself. Believe yeah. in yourself, okay? Yeah, thank you. You don't oh, believe in yourself. Yeah, like, How do you expect yeah. others to believe in you? They can't see what you know. They right. can't see how deep you are or how smart you are or how funny you are. That's right. And so show, show. If show. I was an actor right now, I'd be making mini videos of showing all my acting talents. I get monologues and read them and, you know, do them and create my own videos. I would make it happen, but you got to show it. No one knows it until mm -hmm. you take the chance. And if you're not good, well, guess what? You can only get better by doing. No one has to That's see it. the first 25 takes. To show. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Behind the scenes, yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we're going to speed it up a little bit because I know you're busy. Um, I'm just going to skip to this question. Okay, so you have two lovely, talented children, okay, Nick and Olivia. As a parent, how do you go about choosing roles to play an actor? I mean, does it, you want to make sure that they don't go, if you're playing, like, say, a nude role or whatever, you know, I'm not. You know, but I'm just saying, is it harder for mom 
or parent. It's just like you making sure you you're, you're coming across. And I don't know if that's what we covered a little bit. What you was talking about. Good call. Okay. Um, kids press the envelope. They will always do that. That's their job. Okay. Hello, parents. Their job is to push, and they get guidance from you by even a look. Okay. You know, if you're like, <laughs> like, oh my god, no. Um, but you have to communicate with your kids. So definitely keep the communication open. Always talk to your kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it is so key. I I've talked to my kids since they, you know. Thank you for that. A lot of parents don't do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you always well, well, yeah. saying things to them. I'm like, That's right. you know, anyway. So here's the thing. Um, there are things. Okay. So there, to me, the career acting career is like uh, under 21, over 21. You know, that's okay. how it kind of goes. Mm -hmm. And when you are raising your kid, you kind of try, when you're under 21, actually it's very interesting, from 18 to 21 mm -hmm. is the age when kids push the envelope, I think the most, because they are they really don't want to be seen as kids okay. they want to be seen as adults over 21 so they will start to do things that are adult like that maybe you're going what is happening and you kind of sort of bring up things in your own way but very off like you bring the sub don't bring the subject up when it's tense bring it up when it has nothing to do with what you're talking about like you're eating ice cream and you know you're you know at the park hanging out and go hey you know what when you do that you know i don't really like you saying that word or you know oh you know what i just want to tell you next time it can, don't do it when it's hitting on a when it's an argument right because they, nobody can hear during an argument Right, right. not and no, we, no adults, moms, pet, we can't hear. Yeah. So um, that's my first piece of advice. But my experience is, everybody has to grow up, and okay. if you stop your kid from expressing themselves, they will do it at some point later on. Okay, okay? it comes back. It's about development. Okay. So when a child goes through something, you hold tight, because eventually they'll figure it out. And frankly, it's. Once they hit 21, mm. it is their life yeah. and their choice, yes. okay? okay? And you can deal with it, how it affects you, but they are sort of, their consequences are things that they need to go through, and that is something that they'll learn from. So there's, okay, so like, as an example, okay, it's like interesting things, like when I, I mean, as an actress and this whole internet thing came up, I was very worried about my, kids um on the internet you know oh, yeah. like yeah. don't yeah. have your own account like that kind of nervous right and of course you know my kids are going to have their internet accounts and they're going to say whatever they want and i'm like you may not want to say certain things you may not want to show certain things yes. um and it's not because of shame it's right. because no. of safety That's so right. of course kids don't see that right no no so <laughs> Right? Oh. Am I like come to preach into the choir here? Nice. Mom. <laughs> like, well, These are all mom's platform right here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <We're all> freaking <laughs> out going, uh, so <laughs> therefore you kind of um what I wound up doing was sitting down and explaining to my kids, you know, like scenarios like well i'm really glad that so and so that this didn't happen when you contacted them because if that happened then this could happen too not if you do do this you have to take it away from them being you have to let it occur to them okay. on their own mm -hmm. and how you do that is by bringing it up as a what if wow you know i'm really glad this didn't happen because you know most people if that happens that would be very dangerous. Or I'm glad you didn't give your address when you did that because, it, and you don't say only stupid people would give their address. No, don't say that. <laughs> and that's so tempting to Why? say that. Why? No, just <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> Because if you, like, you are such yeah. morons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, know, yeah. you say, you know, because if that happens, that's what happens when, you know, you know, you do that. So, um, uh, and then the, the funny part was uh, when my daughter got older, it's like one of the things we had this talk show called Live and Die in LA. Right. So it was L I V as Olivia and Die is D I as Diane. So oh, my okay. daughter came to make this show, and the funniest thing she had me do was she let me on her Tinder. And I didn't oh. even know what that was. No, I, I, I was like, <laughs> right? Because I was like, okay, she was over 21, I think then. I was like, 
And so I'm on the Tinder going, like, well, this is, you can't be on this. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm totally ruling it. No, I will not meet you, but thank you for very much being interested in me. <laughs> just, just crying, crying, laughing. So, um, I think I saw that. I think you was like worried about, you you like, oh God, it, the, the, was it the boyfriend thing? Or was, I don't know, it was something similar to that. I don't know, maybe I was looking at something um, else. But, that was, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it was just, I think that that was just like a, 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 like you know looking for guys or swiping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was the blind leading the. the blind. You know, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's no, amazing. that's good to know, and, and and yeah, it's hard when it comes to being a parent that you trying to protect. I think it's that protection that we want. Hard. Actually. Yeah, and doing the mother hen thing, protect. Yes, definitely. So well, is there any? Uh, you have to. Uh, and that's why I think if if you can do that, um, it, and let's say if and if you don't have a spouse, you need somebody to bounce it off of. So mm -hmm. like if you have an aunt or something, like well, you know, I don't think this is good, but you ask so and so. Like you need a couple of maybe of places like to bounce it off, right. so it doesn't become so harsh from you all the time. That's mm -hmm. right. And it's just interesting. So, but it's a it's a different way of parenting. It's not directive. It's mm -hmm. Uh, trust because here's what we want to do we want to raise kids that trust themselves yes right. and when you talk to a child like they made a wrong decision and they can't trust themselves mm. then they will think well i guess they're yelling at me so i can't trust my own gut yes. but if you say something that allows them to have to like think about it mm -hmm. then they will be oh yeah of course i wouldn't do anything stupid <laughs> no, and then, you know, yeah. everybody Ma, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> so, you know what? They'll, they'll grow up just to continuously doubt themselves in everything they do, whether yep. it's their career, yep. their relationships, and then, it, constantly, just a vicious cycle. And they'll go to the relationship, you're right. They will go yeah. to their the relationship with someone and watch this. If they pick somebody who's not that good for them and they rely on them, mm, mm -hmm. not good. Yeah, so, no, you don't want that. Yeah, look, exactly. Everybody's got to get jump in the pool by themselves eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, you can give them a lot of information, but don't scare them. Okay. When you're jumping in. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, don't scare your kids. Is there in inspiring things that you want to tell actors, actresses out there that wants to get to start at this profession? What, you know, just what do you have some inspiration thoughts to tell them as far as, you know, I guess that's what okay. I'm trying to ask. <laughs> I'm great, great, great. First of all, acting, uh, sometimes people are drawn to acting. Uh, people are drawn to be actors for many reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and some of you out there are very connected to your emotions. You have a lot of feelings. Mm -hmm. And acting is a wonderful place to put those feelings, all right? And you want to take that and you want to express them in any way, not just when you get paid. Okay. So you want to, as if you love acting and you like connecting to your emotions, um, don't wait for other people to make things happen. If you like a play, produce it, make it happen. If you want to show an acting scene that you like or something you enjoy or, or you're great at comedy, mm -hmm. write something, create it, put it on the internet, keep creating, keep doing it. Um, acting doesn't, it doesn't have a beginning, middle and end. You can do it for your whole life, which is incredible. And it's exciting and uh, you will move people. All right, uh, and especially on the internet. Oh my gosh, you can move people in a TikTok account. I mean, seriously, you know, <laughs> in TikTok, yes. you can make people, not just mm -hmm. physical, but you can <laughs> move people. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and you are special, but let us see your specialness. We may not know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what makes you special. Mm -hmm. You need to allow yourself to be brave, and just show it, and I guarantee you will look back at your life and go, I am so glad I did that. I am so glad I faced my fear, and I did something, like I was just talking to my daughter about this recently. I said, all the choices I've made in my life, I'm really glad I did. And, mm -hmm. and, and even though that might've been really hard, and mm -hmm. I was scared and wondering, the ones I have the most uh, respect for myself in are the ones that I, I faced my fears. Wow. And I went after it. So I guarantee you will not look back and go, uh, no, that was a mistake. You will feel that you, 
you connected to yourself. And because you connected to yourself and you were brave, then your talent was shown. And, you know, it, yeah. and again, mm -hmm. I must bring this up. You okay. saw me in Last of the Virgin, and I played a character that was not likable. So remember, even for me, for every person that loves me from Better Off Dead, someone hates me from Last of the Virgin. <laughs> There's one person. No, just kidding. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, any, uh, uh, let's start. I'm going to do a trivial speed round. Okay. We'd like to have fun with our guests. And it's, it's just fun. It's nothing okay. hard. Okay. Uh, and we're going to ask some questions and, you know, just see how fast you can think. And then we'll get you out there as far as what you like to promote and, you know, what you're doing next. So I hope okay. that's okay with you. Okay. So here we go. Yeah. Uh, first celebrity crush. Uh, Chevy Chase. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say Robert Redford, but yeah, Chevy Chase was my first celebrity crutch. He's oh. the one I asked for a photo from. Oh, so. oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> favorite ch favorite childhood TV show. Uh, favorite what? Favorite ch uh, childhood TV show. Oh, Marlo Thomas, that girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Cake or pie? Pie, unless yeah. it's devil chocolate food, devil food. Gotcha. Okay, big dogs or small dogs? I probably know this answer already, but go, go ahead. Uh, big dogs now. Yeah. When I was little, small dogs. That really? I okay. Because yeah. you have a big dog, so that's why I thought maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, rice or pasta? Pasta. Oh, oh yeah. what's your favorite what's your favorite <laughs> yeah. carnival food i love the candy apple do you okay i thought you're gonna uh, go say cotton candy but Honestly, no, no caramel it's got to be the red one the red yeah. one right it's got, okay yeah. got you okay um name a word that starts with the letter q queen Oh, so we <laughs> <laughs> do you instagram your food <laughs> Instagram my no what I, 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 <laughs> how dare you yeah. I, Instagram I don't do that but I, I don't Instagram my food okay <laughs> honestly when I first got Instagram I was I was Instagram everything that was food I, I was so happy all I, right I, um, I do like other people's food do I you like, okay I like I, yeah I watch like the New York Times food I'm like yes 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> got you do you have any friends <laughs> taller than six four Diane No, I can't even imagine. You know, everybody is taller than six four to me. Yeah, you're but uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. Uh, it would there, be is, too hard. I'm like, uh, you're looking up at okay. Is there a spider? If if there's a spider in your house, do you kill it or set it free? Are you those type of people? I save the spider. You save it. I okay. Outside, and I say go free. <laughs> but I, I feel bad about killing flies. I go fly or ants. You know you're what? Like, it, I actually feel bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to kill you. But it's not going to be, and, I'm, and then I think I've killed, I've murdered. No, you murdered. <laughs> so, I know, you just started going into guilt mode, right? I know, it's for a Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flies yeah. Nice. No, yeah. <laughs> All right, last question. Is double dipping at a party ever acceptable? Not now. Not with the coronavirus. <laughs> I know, no you way. know, you have the coronavirus, you don't want to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, that was cool. Thank you, Diane, for that. You just passed it all the way. What's the next thing are you promoting as far as the movie? I know Amityville, uh, is that still starting up, or how does that work? So we've got, Am right now, Amityville Murders and uh, is a movie I did in 2017. It is on Netflix now, which is, uh, or Hulu. I think Netflix through, Ooh. I think Hulu. Okay. Well, yeah. just check it out. It's, it's, it's some streaming, best. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thing. Best <laughs> performance I have done, I think, in my life as an actress, uh, okay. because it's dramatic um, and it combines a lot of things that, as an actress, that I haven't been able to play. I love it. I love it. Um, and the movie is a drama. It's really more of a drama. It's not so much of a horror film, but it is based on a true story, so that's always a horror. Right. Um, and then uh, I have a movie called uh, Wally Got Wasted, which is on the internet as well, on Amazon oh, Prime. Oh, nice. um, and that's like a cameo, but that's pretty funny. Uh, it's like uh, Weekend at Bernie's. Oh, oh, I like Weekend at Bernie's. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, so any, books, any more books you coming out with? Or, uh, uh, yes. Um, oh, and by the way, I've got three projects that are supposed to come out uh, this year or the beginning of next year. Called, uh, one's called High Holiday. I'm okay. not even going to say what that's about. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out, though. It's coming out. Okay. Um, another one is um, uh, uh, okay. 
uh, Waking Nightmare is supposed to come out. And then I, I just did an uh, apocalypse movie that's kind of cool and I have a cameo in. So there's some things that are coming out. Um, but the cool thing I'm working on during this quarantine time is I'm working on a book about uh, From Better Off Dead, uh, which is a comedy. And this book is to me going to be as like, it, it was inspired to me by all the people that I would meet at conventions because I brought my Better Off Dead coat and I had a lot of fans wear it. And okay. <laughs> they, I, they submitted pictures. So originally, so someone said to me, you should do a book where you have all the fans wearing the coats. And I went, oh, that's a great idea. And then from that, I kind of thought, oh, well, maybe I'll do like a retrospective on Better Off Dead nostalgic book. And then I got a lot of the actors saying that they would do interviews. So I'm doing it. I'm hoping to get it out by uh, before the end of uh, the year, like by Christmas. And awesome. so... Uh, stay connected with me on Twitter. It's Diane Franklin 80 on Twitter and Instagram. It's actress Diane Franklin gotcha. and it's Facebook. It would be, I would say, look under the group section, look up Diane official Diane Franklin fan page or group, um, but look for the group because my other fan page is full. Oh, full. wow. So well, you're, you're uh, busy. Definitely, wow. yeah. you're busy, <laughs> so Diane. 5, people. I, I, I take back what I said about you. I take back that she's never busy. No, just kidding. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, so no. Well, thank you, Diane, again. This is thank Joanne you. Thank you so and much. Denise with Stuff to Discuss 101. Yes. And so please subscribe, thumbs up this video, and comment below. And again, check us out in our YouTube uh, channel called Stuff to Discuss. And thanks again. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>